ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Tiller, reporting for Kids First, with a green screen, stepping up with the production value. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming film, Pan. This movie, directed by Joe Wright, basically is an explanation of what happened before the story of Peter Pan that we all know and love. Peter, played by Levi Miller, is an orphan boy who gets abducted by Blackbeard, played by Hugh Jackman, interesting enough, uh, who made this great transformation from Wolverine to now Blackbeard, which was one of the cool things about this film is that Hugh Jackman is in it and he plays a great role as Blackbeard. So basically, Peter gets abducted by Blackbeard and his pirates, and he meets up with a bunch of the characters that we all know and love, like Hook, um, Smeagol, Smeagol's even in it, and a bunch of other characters. Which leads me to my other point, the characters in this movie, uh, Tiger Lily, like um, Hook, like I said before, Smeagol, Blackbeard, Peter, they're all good, they're all fun to watch, even Blackbeard to an extent, they're all fun to watch on screen, they all get great lines in the movie, which is just enjoyable for the audience, from both the young and older audience. So on to the nitty and gritty stuff of this movie. Um, the effects, the visual effects, uh, were eye-popping and were incredible. Uh, I gotta say, the, the explosions, to the set design, to the background, everything was detailed to perfection. Um, from London, to the jungles, to the caves, to the mines, everything was great and crisp with detail. Uh, the musical score also was incredible. Every scene had some song or some chant to it, especially in Blackbeard's lair. The, the chants that all the pirates made were awesome and were incredible. It gave me goosebumps just like thinking about it. Because everything, they did everything in this movie perfectly. Um, you know, it's not something I say often, but it was just like, it created a flow to it. They, with the action scenes, everything flowed together from the dialogue to the to the cinematography, to the visual effects, to the music itself, everything was carried out to the T and it had a flow to it, which I loved and I enjoyed watching. So as far as who this movie is for, it really is fun for the whole family. Uh, it has references for the older audience and then for the younger audience, it kind of gives an insight and it gives them, you know, something to develop on and really it gives them the true and good story of Peter Pan. So, in the end, what do I give this movie? I give Pan five hooks out of five, or five stars, whatever. Um, <laughs> for the great visuals, for the great lines, great monologues, you know, great musical score. It was great everything. I'm running out of adjectives to describe this movie because everything was perfect, everything had a flow to it, and that's why I'm giving it five out of five. So, signing up for Kids First, I'm Brandon Sella.